Shalom to Rabbi Avi Berman, Executive Director of OU Israel. Shalom Aleichem Yoni to you and all the Arut Sheva listeners. So we parted from Rabbi Nachum Rabinovich. Tell us your memories from him. I understand you knew him from, what, the age of uh, 15 or so? Uh, even earlier. It's actually interesting. You know, people uh, say, uh, you know, Avi, you're the Executive Director of the OU in Israel. I'm sure you, you've you come in a lot of contact with Rabbi, uh, Rabinovich. You've had uh, opportunities to see him at different uh, conventions, different meetings, and, uh, you know, while the last couple of years he's been sick, before that he was really a, a tremendous, uh, you know, leader in the uh, Torah world here in Israel. Uh, and my answer to them is, uh, yes, Baruch Hashem, I had this chus of, of seeing and hearing from him many times, but uh, the real impact on me as, as, as an individual and in determining who I am today and, and so much of the path that I've uh, taken and chosen for my life is really from when I was 12, 13, 14, 15 years old, and uh, my family was living then in Mitzvah Nevo in Mala Adumim. And uh, first of all, we were neighbors with Rabbi, Rabbi Rabinovich, and uh, he and his wife, such, such elf people. That, you know, I, I was told many, many, many times, even before I, uh, I was able to, to, to understand the godless of Torah, that he's a giant. But uh, when seeing him in the street and seeing him in the Makolet in the uh, you know, little convenience store and seeing him walk in the streets and seeing him walk up to the yeshiva, you, you never, ever, ever saw him hold of himself. You never saw him like, you know, say, oh, I, I understand. I'm such a great man. Never. It was such simpleness. It's, and and his, the way he spoke to us as kids, the way he spoke to us as, as, as neighbors, it was, it was the most beautiful relationship ever. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm at the time, you know, 12, 13, 14, 15, and, and saying to myself, wow, you know, I do, I, you know I'm, he's my next door neighbor. What's the big deal here? But when I uh, realized that I have this great yeshiva right next to my house called the uh, Birkat Moshe, and I started going up to the yeshiva every single day after school, uh, first of all, I became addicted. I, uh, it was impossible for me to come home from school and I go up to Yeshiva, it was like a whole bunch of stairs away from our house, but that didn't uh, stop us. We, we went up there, and Seth uh, Chavrus was with different uh, guys in the Yeshiva there, guys that today I'm still in touch with, you know, uh, oncologists and, uh, and great guys that, that literally have embraced the Torah that uh, Rabinovich and uh, the Ramim and the Yeshiva gave, uh, and then turned it into uh, real life, and, uh, you know, uh, one of my friends there who's an oncologist, um, you know, I met him at the Cedar sinai in, uh, um, in L.A. And, uh, and saw him again in, in New York by uh, Sloan Kettering. And you say to yourself, wow, you, you, you became this, this worldly guy. And then you look back at where he learned and you, you see he learned in Yeshivat Berkat Moshe in, uh, in Mala Adumim. And you realize, wow, that is so much of what Rabbi, what Rabbi Rabinovich was really all about. And Rabbi Nachum Rabinovich was a, a big Zionist. He, he fought for the land of Israel, the entire land of Israel. As a kid, that was less what I was aware of. As an adult, uh, it became very uh, evident that uh, Rabbi Rabinovich, not only living in Ma'ale Adumim and uh, settling the land and uh, making Aliyah from, from Montreal, learning in Ner Yisrael, and coming to Israel and, and being a giant in Torah, but also understanding that, you know, HaKadosh Baruch who gave us this, this tremendous gift called the land of Israel, and uh, the, the thought of giving it uh, to anybody else is, is just not something he was willing to think of. Uh, you know, worldly for, for Rabbi Novich was really understanding that you're growing people to be Talmidei Chachamim, to be giants in Torah, but also to be doctors, and also to be lawyers, and also to be professors, and also to be, you know, in, involved with the world and be able to educate your children out of uh, out of a place where you're you're embracing the Torah, but also embracing the the, the rest of the world and bringing them together in, in such a harmonious uh, harmonious way. Um, and for him, it was you know Eretz Yisrael, Am Yisrael, Torah Yisrael, and uh, so much of that is uh, what I decided to take upon in my life. Uh, me going to, to learn in Hezder and Shiloh and then continuing in Kolel and continuing working with the OU and NCSY and then OU Israel is, is really so much due to, uh, to, to me sitting there as a, as, a, as a young boy, but looking at Rav Rabinovich and the Ramim in Mala Adumim and saying, wow, this is incredible how you could take Torah and then bring it into, you know, the day-to-day life and, and, and make them all connect in such a beautiful way. Rabbi Avi Berman, Executive Director of OU Israel, thank you very much. Thank you, Yoni, and uh, we should uh, have his Hashem experience 
good times and refuah shleimah to all the